Okay, let's continue uh, some retro raw news back in 2014 when uh, William and Kate, the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge, did an Australian visit and are in Uluru, uh, which is rock in the red centre here in Australia. So uh, let's have a look. Look back to 2014. Well, there are plenty of flies on hand to welcome the Duke, Duke, Duke and Duchess of Cambridge to the Northern Territory, where they've spent the afternoon touring Uluru. Prince William and Kate looked cool and casual despite the heat, meeting with Aboriginal artists after a traditional welcome to century. And 10's Danny Isdale joins us now live from Uluru. Danny, the sun has set on a big day for the young royals. A big day, absolutely, and a beautiful one as well. What a joy it is to be standing in probably the most glorious part of Australia at the most glorious time of day. The sun has just set here, and the thing about sunsets is they are, of course, shared. And William and Kate enjoyed it just as much as everybody else here at Uluru this evening. They have had that magic moment that everyone had been waiting for, watching as the sun went down over the imposing beauty of this rock, throwing up beams of, of red and pink and gold into the sky. A fabulous moment. And they'd had a fantastic day. They had just had the experience of walking around the base of Uluru on a walk where the ecological significance was explained to them and the cultural significance, particularly in a waterhole that is considered one of the most sacred places on the rock. And it is at its most beautiful at the moment because they've just had a fair bit of rain. So that was a special moment for them to share. Now, Danny, I understand the accommodation that they have is quite unusual. They're going to be staying in a tent. I imagine it's very modest. Exactly how many of their servants does it accommodate? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, well, it'd be great if there was a media area and we could stay in the same tent because it's the kind of tent I think that you would want to stay in because it is supposed to be absolutely incredible, the best of the best, glamping at its absolute best. Well, we're very envious. It's a very nice tour for you to cover. Thanks for the update, Danny. Thanks, guys. Was that swimming pool part of the tent? <laughs> <laughs> when you've got a swimming pool in your tent, you know you're doing OK. <laughs> Pete, can I just uh, give a shout out to the Ananu people who are the traditional owners of Uluru and also let you know, Georgie, that an elder from the Ananu people would have performed a welcome to country as opposed to a welcome to century, which is a ritual that Tony Barber sometimes performs. Yes. <laughs> um. <laughs> so is century. It's baby, fantastic. Yeah, everyone's wondering, baby George is actually climbing the rock as we speak. Is so, he? Yes, yeah, yeah, by himself. Oh. Um, but the Royals have made out like bandits in, on this tour, I've got to say, Michelle. Uh, they're getting gift after gift. Of, my favourite came today and uh, I, th I think uh, this is my favourite from the top end. And the interesting thing about this painting is actually the paper that it's made from. It's actually made from Marla poo and the rangers have decided that they can make a paper out of this animal's poo, making the paper out of the poo and selling it. So <laughs> there, there will be this artwork now on display in Kensington Palace. <laughs> well, I mean, an iTunes voucher would have sufficed. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know, I reckon those rangers are Republicans. I've got a <laughs> Either that or it's just the most Australian gift you could possibly give. I think it's the most Australian gift you could possibly give. And um, some interesting points there because uh, they were talking about baby George climbing the rock. Uh, the rock will be closed. Nobody will be able to climb it. I think it's um, 30th of October this year uh, or 31st. And um, I, I've never climbed it. I've been to Uluru. Uh, it was actually too hot for me to climb when I went there, but I wouldn't have climbed it anyway. Like, you just look at it and it's just like so steep. It's like, no, that looks dangerous. I'm not going to climb that. <laughs> Lots of people do. Um, they've had a few deaths there because uh, people have climbed it and fallen. I think a few people have had heart attacks as well. But uh, no, I, I wouldn't climb it. And apparently it's disrespectful to climb it, although there's an argument there that it's not. And uh, as Uluru, the guy, the guy Uluru, the Aboriginal guy, who the rock's named after, had no issues of people climbing it. But I think it's more that uh, when an accident happens, they just feel really bad. So in that respect, you shouldn't climb it. So okay, so I'll leave it at that. That's uh, it was back in 2014. I think it was the early 22nd of April 2014. I was at Uluru in Northern Territory here in Australia, a beautiful part of Australia. Totally recommend if you come to Australia to go to Uluru. It's a bit out of the way. It's pretty much in the middle of Australia, but uh, it's definitely worth the trip. Uh, it's, you know, it's just there's something about it. It's just got a, 
a real vibe to it. It's uh, really special. So if you come to Australia, make sure you visit Uluru, Northern Territory. Watch out for the Crocs. <laughs> okay, guys. Once again, just like, subscribe, and share, and I'll see you next time. Cheers. Where's my mouse gone?